Denny Hamlin right. running third. With that position, he's currently in the top eight and could advance to the round of eight. White flag in the air. One more time around. You mentioned it, Steve. The 11 cars in there running in third. He's in the bottom lane. Austin Dillon, he just moved to the bottom lane. He's way back in 12, but he went to the bottom. Let's see which lane moves forward. How aggressive does Brian Scott be? How can how aggressive can he be trying to win his first race? A huge gap between the 22 and the 44 as they enter turn three for the final time. Up the racetrack, the 22 goes, blocking the 44. Coming out of turn four, a long ways back to the checkered flag. Three and four wide, fighting for position. Joey Logano through the tri-oval. Logano wins at Talladega. We're coming around for the white flag. Four Chevys, a Pontiac, a Ford, and a Dodge to fight it out three miles to the finish of the Daytona 500. If he can survive this run, he'll be okay. Nobody's doing anything. They're all holding in. Go get him. Come on, buddy. One to go. The last lap. One to go, buddy. Keep it low, Mikey. Keep it low. Don't let him under you. Make that back straight away wide, buddy. Get all over the place. Don't let him run up on you. Come on, man. Come on now. Watch it, mirror. Watch it. He's going to make a run inside. Block him. Block him. That a boy. Three wide behind them. You got him, Mikey. You got him, man. You got him. Come on, man. Come on, baby. Come on. Get him in the fold. Get him in the fold. The three cars out. Oh, big trouble. Oh, big wreck behind them. Beat him back. Come on. To the flag. Come on, Mikey. Come you, on. Got it, you, you got it, man. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Will Michael Waltrip blocked for Dale Jr. Will he try to win the race himself? White flag is out. Final lap at Daytona. 180,000 on their feet, screaming wildly. Two and a half miles to go. Just exactly the opposite of the Daytona 500. It was 15 and 8. Elliott Sadler is trying to keep Bobby Labonte behind. He can't do it. But he does move down in front of Rusty Wallace on that fast line. Bobby Labonte looking for some help, trying to get up there. His teammate, Tony Stewart, has never answered the black flag. And they're four wide back between the Wallace boys. Here they come, turn four, final lap of the Pepsi 400. Michael Waltrip in second, but it's going to be Dale Earnhardt Jr. using lessons learned from his father to go from sixth to first and score the victory in the Pepsi 400. That's, uh, that's unbelievable. White flag, didn't one have lap help. to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. He made the move, but the momentum wasn't quite there yet. There wasn't I think the that's a right follow. move, but the energy wasn't quite developed. Straight slow by 10. Straight slow by 10. Two Fords on the outside, Ford Chevy on the bottom, and Gilliland got loose after what a bump eight, from Larson. Coming, coming. Coming. Kyle Larson better go give him a hug and a kiss on the cheek after this. That saved his front row stop. This Everybody awesome. gets squared away. And this isn't over yet. No. Almarola way out in front of Cindric, who's going to have a chance here. He just back up. Does he Get take it? Yes, he, I think he is right now. Now, I think he just stays in the gas. You don't really have a choice. You can't take a chance on trying to back up to him at this point. Off turn four to the line. Almirola making bacon. How about that. White flag in the air. One more time around Daytona. Here he comes. They're side by side for second. Two car link lead for Dale Earnhardt Jr. as they work their way through. One and two, and down the back stretch they go. Junior blocking the lower line. Does that give the advantage to the 48? Junior jumps up in front of Jimmy Johnson. To the bottom of the racetrack, Dale Earnhardt Jr. trying to stay in front of the pack. They work their way through three and four. Into the trail, they come. Dale Earnhardt Jr. to the bottom of the track. Junior will win in Daytona. Behind them. Oh my God. 
Vickers blocking his teammate. White flag this time. One to go. He's got to block two teammates to win it, though. Gordon and Johnson. He slides way up high and takes the oh, white flag. Oh, no. Johnson stayed in bounds in the 48 car. He's got the push from Tony Stewart in the 20 to keep Vickers to the high side. Vickers couldn't block them both. Here comes Kenseth around the top, but no help for yep. Matt. Tony's pushing up. 20 car behind you. Gonna get tight here, guys. Gonna get tight. Gordon's at the bottom in the 24. Not a lot of help down there. It's just tire smoke. They're beating and banging over there. They're rubbing everything they got. Bottoms, tops, Yo. sides. Checkered flag. He better get the gas on. All Jimmy Johnson that 48 can do is protect the bottom. That's all he can hope for. Just remember, it's a long way down here to the limit, to the finish line. Oh yeah, here it comes. Lock and Stewart, here they come. Jimmy Here's Johnson, the Daytona 500 winner, holds off Tony Stewart and wins the Aero. Well, he's got to do what he's been doing, block them all the way. That board is running awfully good. And like I told you in 1993, they'll keep her down on the inside. Don't let him get down there, but he might try to come up on the outside, coming off the turn. Here it is, the Dale and Dale show once again here at Daytona. Earnhardt trying to make a move. Look at him switch back and forth. Jarrett blocks him one more time. Here comes Earnhardt to the inside, but he can't make the move. And the Chevrolets race each other back there. Jared hanging on down on the inside. Come on, Dale. Put her in the middle, buddy. Do all you can. Winning two Daytona 500s will be too much. Here he comes to the line, and Dale Jared is going to pull it out at Daytona, his second Daytona 500 win. <laughs> wow. Man, it's almost as good as it was the first time. <laughs> Coming to the white flag. White flag, no help. Either one direction. Next flag ends the race. Man, Danny what? drove it up oh, in there. Gonna... Same thing, just like early in the race. Kyle Busch gets loose on the outside. Power move by Denny Hamlin. He's got no help by two. But... The longest and one of the most exciting Coca-Cola 600s ever comes down to the final corner. Denny Hamlin. Kyle Busch, teammates at Joe Gibbs Racing, and they come to the line. Oh, yeah, Hamlin wins by two car lengths. What a race. Oh, yeah, team. Christopher Bell, a 25-year-old, going up right now against the 22-year-old and William Byron, those two leading at Daytona. And two wide behind them. Not a lot of energy that's going to be generated from that. As long as they're too wide, now you're starting to see a little bit of a run from that top lane. That's going to move this bottom lane. Truex to the outside of Bell. What was the number you mentioned earlier, Steve? How many times at Super Speedway races has Martin Truex Jr. come up a little bit short? Car in the fence hard. Oh, hard. Clint Boyer in the 14 slamming into the wall. Hold your line, hold your line, hold your line. They've already taken the white flag. The next flag will end the race. Martin Trex Jr. out front. Now William Byron fighting on the inside for the lead and the win. They run behind him again. Stay with your teammate. They continue to fight. You're clear. Through three and four. William Byron looking for his first ever win in the NASCAR Cup Series. A win, a secured spot in the playoffs. William Byron's going to win. This will be the white flag. We're Jamie going. McMurray is in front to try to win the 500. This will be the last lap. Whatever happens now happens, folks. They can all wild up down here, and somebody's going to leave out that turn, second turn to winner. Junior on the bottom with Boyer. Biffle ahead. Truex trying to get up there and help McMurray, but Boyer's right there behind Biffle in the 16. Look at, there goes Boyer to the outside. Look at Junior. Come on, Junior. Come on. Can they make it to the flag? Nah, no way. They'll never get through this third turn. Junior got squirreled up right there. Nah, it's just perfect. He's flying through there. Dale Earnhardt Jr. unbelievably has caught Jamie McMurray as they come to turn four. He'll have to go to the high side, though. McMurray will guard that line. Crash at the back, never mind. Green flag still out. Checkered flag in the air. The 52nd Daytona 500 Murray. to Jamie yes. McMurray. Yes, little Jamie baby. Richard Childress, multi stars running one, two as he comes for the white flag.
Side, the 53rd Daytona 500. Rookie Trevor Bain in his second Sprint Cup start will lead the them to the white flag with Bobby Labonte. Here comes Kurt Busch and Juan Montoya. Carl Edwards in fifth. And we know Kurt Busch and Montoya is going to make a move. DW, when will they make it? I don't think they're going to make it till turn four. I mean, we keep hearing about I'm a set and duck when I'm leading this thing. So I guess that makes the 21 a set and duck right now. But We'll see here that 22 knows how to win from that position. That's where he won the butt shootout from. Edwards and Gilliland down to the inside. Try to. Where did that 34 come from? Try to Gilliland. spoil the party. Oh and my they gosh. spoiled the party for Kurt Busch and Montoya in here. They come through turn four. Are Gilliland, they? former pole sitter of the 500. Edwards has room underneath. Now he pushes Trevor Bain. It's over. Cinderella Trevor Bain is going to win the Daytona 500. Happy birthday, Trevor Bain, 20 years old. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you, uh, what? Dale Earnhardt Jr. will have led 55 laps today at the start-finish line. 143,000 on their feet at Talladega as the white flag flies. Final lap of the EA Sports 500. Spotter says keep it on the bottom. Jr. will be more than happy to comply. Behind him, Steve Park being challenged by Ryan Newman for a spot. But the front five, single file. Kurt Busch looking for third. Can't do it. Ricky Rudd with a brief peek. Kurt Busch trying to find enough muster to run with him. His father won here ten times. And now Dale Earnhardt Jr. is going to become only the second man in this track's history to score three straight wins at Talladega Super Speedway. Earnhardt Jr. to the checkered flag. He wins the EA Sports 500. One to go. One lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. Byron to the top and Johnson with him. Now here comes a run by Kevin Harvick. He's going to get to the inside of Byron here. Byron's not careful. To oh, Benedetto yeah. to push. Yeah, to Benedetto, this is going to be a game changer right here. If they don't get a big run on the outside, I think uh, Kevin Harvick's going to get back to the lead. Oh, he lost his help there with to Benedetto. Oh, oh contact. Kurt Busch is going for it. Three wide into the corner. Stacked up. Bush in the middle. I think you look at that 24 getting the victory here. And William Byron scoots away from them three wide behind him. William Byron for Rick Hendrick in a Chevrolet breaks the Ford stranglehold on the duels. And how they didn't wreck off a four again, I have no idea. What a race. Coming through the trioval, they will get the white flag this time. There he goes, Tony Stewart taking a look at the bottom, and he's got no help. And he lost his spot. White flag is out. Last lap at Talladega. Dale Earnhardt Jr. pushed by the car his father used to drive, the 29 of Kevin Harvick. And the veteran Dale Jarrett behind him. Oh, oh trouble. trouble. Jeff Gordon. And there's the crowd. Rick Biffle. Casey Kane. Several cars involved. But the cars is racing. No, it's still green. It's still green. Okay. They're still racing at Talladega. Last lap. They will come to the checkers this time by. So there will not be a green white checker. The white flag is in the air. His fifth win at Talladega works his way back to the front. And Junior, where his father won ten times. Oh, we got a car sideways in the trail. Oh, the five, the oh, oh, out, and somebody upside down. Elliot Sadler, Sadler again lands on his wheels. Right. Yeah, good save right there. You all right? That's too far back. Got right to Ice Flag. Waffle got to run around. 
push that time. I think he's going to make pass back for third. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> nope, this is the battle right here. Brian Vickers, he's on the high Coming side. Outside. Got a little bit of a runoff turn two, but a big block by Bliss. It's going to get exciting down here, boys. Go or go home time right now. Vickers turns it to the bottom, he's but he can't get by. He can't get under. He just can't get enough nose under him without getting into him. Oh, oh he's he it. Sideways. He's him in. Yeah, Vickers just beat him across the line just by a car man. Mike Bliss did a whale of a job. Did he make it? Did we make it? No, Mike. You didn't make it. White flag, man. White flag. Now it's all going to be settled in 2.66 miles from now. Earnhardt. Jarrett. Ward Burton is there. Rudd is there. Somebody's awfully high down in the corner. Meanwhile, the, the two cars break out. Dale Jarrett, Dale Earnhardt. Right down and have him reversed. Earnhardt is in front. Half a lap from the conclusion of the Winston 500. The conga line. Earnhardt moves to the inside, the outside. Jarrett's got drafting help from Ward Burton. Jarrett has to make a move. Here comes Burton. Ward Burton, two, two car lengths back, a car length back. Now watch for Jarrett to try to get to the inside. Earnhardt, here comes Jared, here comes Burton. Earnhardt blocks the way. And Dale Earnhardt will win the Winston 500. Jared finishes second, Ricky Rudd third, Ward Burton fourth, and the celebration begins. Around the outside of Travis Quaffles, number 32. Here he comes. Jeff Gordon will be looking at the white flag. And that's the first flag he wanted to see for sure. The race will end no matter what. And uh, we got us another winner, boys. Boy, Harvick is coming all over the racetrack. And a lot of traffic in front of Jeff Gordon. He's going to catch him down in turn three and four. Harvick got a great run down the back straightaway. It's down to half a second. He'll try. Four it, tenths uh, of a second. I think it's a... Uh, a third of a second. Great effort. Jeff Gordon. Off turn four, win number 89 for Jeff Gordon by two car lengths over Kevin Harvick. We're not done as we're coming around, getting ready for the white flag. 31 of Burt Carl. Here they come, here they come, to the outside. Here comes Kyle Busch. He's got him, and Tony cuts off him. What's Tony going to do? You're clear. And now now the question is, Tony's got no help because these guys are running too wide behind him. So now it's man on man right now. I don't think it's going to it's going to get it's going to get wider here in a minute I believe. Here comes Johnson in behind Stewart. Is it enough? Hamlin's high side up there by himself in the 11. First lap led all night by Kyle Busch and it's the money lap and it might be all it takes. It really now is. what does Johnson do to help Half Stewart? Point. Doesn't matter. You're Kyle Busch is going to hug all the racetrack he, right or now. he should. He's mirror driving right now. Tony Stewart trying to get to the bottom. He may get turned for mirror driving, but he's going to be mirror driving. Oh Stewart's my. trying he to squeeze right there in there. Eddie. See that he's hand? to the bottom. Oh, that hand? He just wanted to touch him, man. Just wanted to touch him. Can't get him to the high side. side. Here he comes. No, there he, he turns him. He turns him. Oh, my God. Here comes Stewart to the checkered Tony flag. Stewart. And another oh, car gets in the backside. It's Casey you know. Kane. And they're scattering oh everywhere as they come to the line. Martin Trex Jr. has the advantage as they come up the turn. He'll see the white flag That's one right, more time around. Martin Truex Jr. on the inside, looking for his first short track win, as well as a trip to Miami to try to defend his championship. The 2017 champion, will he get the bumper? Yes, he does. Here comes Legato. Legato on the inside, a drag race. They're sideways, and it's going to be Legato getting the win. You got to get wide. White flag is out. Next flag will decide it. Wow. Tony Stewart feeling good, and how about Kurt Busch in that outside lane with help from David Gilmore? Oh, here we go. We there got we go. trouble. Then it's there over. we go. That's it. Like I said, you lead at the white. That's it. You're good to go. But they may no race to the finish. Yet. They're yep. going to let them race back here. That happened over in turn two, so they got plenty of room. Oh, wow. Hey, let them race, boys. Hopefully they're cleared when they get back down there. Tony Stewart won this race last year. He's won it 29, times. shoving the 14. I don't know if it's going to be enough, but through turns three and four for the final time. Off the corner, here comes Jimmy Johnson. He's dominated the race. Now he can see the finish line.
That's Bush in the outside lane. Not making a move. Oh, Trouble behind her. Danica. Danica and others. Jimmy Johnson gets the win at Daytona. Yeah, she got turned right there. For buffer, buffer. Bush and Truex, can they find each other, those two Toyotas, to work against these four Chevrolets? Still seems like it's going to be settled right here amongst these front five or six. I agree, but anybody breaks that plane, anybody moves too wide, it can give everybody White behind them an opportunity to get on them. White flag, sponsored by Credit One Bank. You see the flaps it's moving on the one, here. he's pushing hard. Justin Haley gets out of line here. Austin Big Dillon time goes push. By. Is it too early to go off of two, Dale? Quarterback. Too soon. Remember what and the start finish line is. Way down. That's right. Turn one and two. Byron spit out to the outside. 29 times this race has been decided by a last lap pass. Oh, Kurt to the far. outside. That's going to slow down this one. He now watch it. the momentum with the one car. Get too far out. Three back. Kyle Busch. He's out of long ways. Here comes a run with the five. Kyle Larson, big push. Does it go to the outside? He's going to have to. Here he goes. And he's in the wall. Opens Kurt the door the up for the one. Ross Chastain. And on the outside, Kyle Larson added. Oh, Chastain. my gosh. How about you? <laughs> Ross Chastain. Ross is Winter the boss of Talladega. Did he save enough fuel? The 41, 41 of the block. Kurt Busch blocks Almirola. Coming, to Coming back to the white flag. You got to know Eric Almirola is super hungry. He had so many chances to win races. Hadn't been at a full one off. If he can get some help from behind, he's going to be aggressive. One more time around. Will they have enough fuel? Their teammate ran out of gas. Into the wall. Meant to Benedetto in the 32. And there's a big wreck behind you. Big wreck behind you. The caution won't come out if it will not affect the end of this race. We'll see if NASCAR will throw it. If they have to get to the drivers to make sure they're okay, they would throw a caution. But right now, they're still green. Look at that Stenhouse. Doesn't have any help. He's going to get up here and give a help, give a push to the 10, but he doesn't have any help behind him. Almirola. Here he goes. Almirola, Almirola to the outside. outside. The 41's out of gas. Almirola to the lead. Almirola Big comes run. out of four. Does, Does he, he have enough gas? line. Alvarola all the way to the bottom of the track. Eric Alvarola is going to win at Talladega. Look how slow Earnhardt is bringing them down. He's coasting into the trioval. Now the green is in the wind and he takes off. Well, there's a method to his madness. We saw Ricky Hendricks lose the Arca race here the other day. If you've got an open gear in these cars, you're only pulling with the right rear tire. And if you really stab that throttle, you can break the thing loose and the car won't go. But I don't know if that was a really good move because they're going to get a run on him up the back straightaway. Marlon goes to third. Unsponsored Kenny Wallace in 10th. He's in the show. Look at Jason Leffler right there drafting off a of Nadu. They have left brother Michael out to drive there, DW. Afraid so. And I think Earnhardt's a set and duck, boys. Here they come on the inside. Earnhardt comes down to block. Too late. He had that, that jump start he got didn't work out. That's an old Indian trick, but it didn't work out today. That's an awfully big leap for Sterling to have in turn four there. They could get a run on him. No, nah, I think they got I think he can hold him off from there. He got he can block him enough from there. Three wide. Four back. Felix Sabani's on his feet. They are four wide coming to the line. I think Buckshot Jones may have grabbed that last transfer spot as Sterling Marlin wins it. White flag in the air. Next flag in the oh, race. Oh no, Matt! He D gave went up, up on his plan. Now you got Brad Keselowski. He's got the uh, he's got heck the, of a push on the on the back of him. The man with the plan, Brad Keselowski, has Michael McDowell in tow, and then Kevin Harvick. Here comes a big run from the eight. Tyler Reddick's, oh, but he's not going to oh. push the 12. There, That's going to do that's it for Brad Keselowski if, on that inside lane. I'm not saying he's got the win. Now the 34 and the 4 got to get lined up. Look at Eric Jones. Eric Jones. Mile four and a half to go. We talked about right there. That Jones boy up into fourth. Kevin oh, Harvick with a run. Chris Butcher back there. He's, he's wrecking. He's oh. in the wall. Big run 17 in the McDowell. wall, but here they come. What's McDowell going to do? Down oh. to the finish. One car turned in the fence. Keselowski, the leader. To the outside comes McDowell, and Brad Keselowski wins Talladega as one car goes sliding, spinning, slamming into the inside wall. Man, that was wild. 
one car to the bottom and he has help on the inside Austin Dillon with Chase Elliott two Chevrolets trying to get to the front white flag in the air one lap to go I messed up he messed up now what's Logano going to do with oh, this run kid Logano's going to have to back up to Jimmy Johnson and see if he can't get a run you better slide in that opening right there quick quick now here comes a push from the 42. Watch that go to the 41. Push the 41. He's got to run on the 48. Jimmy Johnson. I think. Oh, oh right Johnson there. gets no. turned right. again. Digging, Kyle keep Bush digging. into Larson into Johnson, and for what the seventh year in a row, Jimmy Johnson will crash out of the clash. That right, was bud. so unnecessary. Checkered flag. Brad Keselowski. From last to first, wins the clash at Daytona. He said he was going to win. The white flag. One more lap to go. The white flag is showing. Mark Martin is closing in. He's reduced the interval to eight tenths of a second, but it may not be enough. Here's the final lap as Dale Jarrett is in corner number four. Off the corner. Martin is there. But Jarrett wins by just a car length. His 12th career win. Traffic to contend with. Jeff Lodot had to come in for a splash, splash of gas. Or a flat tire or something. Now let's see. They're down to four or five car lengths. And a slow car right around Earnhardt. He's right on his back foot. Let's see what strategy he pulls. No! Labonte is sideways but wins the race. Crashes and he wins anyway. How about that? Back with the leaders. White flag. Around on this one. Well, if Marlon has anything, he's got to start showing his hand. Here he is, making that high move again. Going to try to get a run off of him. Coming off this turn, he'll try to pass him going into turn three. Earnhardt's won an IROC here. He's won two 400s. Fourth of July, he's won five Bush clashes. Watch Earnhardt block and use that racetrack. <laughs> he's won six of the 300 races on Saturday. Seeking his seventh 125 mile qualifying victory, fifth in a row. Marlin trying to take it away as they come down off the corner. Here comes Thurley Marlin to the inside, down to the line. It's going to be Earnhardt. He's got some help still. Chase Elliott back there. Can he get to the bumper? There's the white flag. One more to go. Huge push on the outside from the six. Three cars in tandem. Now, will the Bumpers stay locked. The six of Brad Keselowski trying to push that 17. Here comes Harvick in the four. Big push from the 10. He stays committed to the six down the back straightaway. Elliott pushing the four. Busher and Keselowski. Now, which line will they take through three and four for the final time? Busher separates a car link between he and Keselowski. Brad's got no help. I don't think he gets back there to the 17. As they come to the trioval, Busher's going to win at Daytona. Coming off the outside, Mark's going to have to really get a bite. I think he's going to have to hit him, guys, if he's going to win this. White flag here, Mark Martin on the bottom of the racetrack. Kyle Busch by one car link. Ambrose back in third. behind him. Is he going to try to get to this bumper? And out of turn four. Kyle Busch will win it at Bristol, Tennessee. Wow, Marcus Ambrose in third. Great run for him. 
white flag trying to end a 101 race winless streak for car owner Jack Roush is Ricky Stenhouse. Look at this, four wide. Oh Everybody wants to get to the front. I just don't see how that's going to work out. Side drafter for McMurray on Casey Kane. He's going to get to the rear bumper. Argo in the middle between Jimmy Johnson and Kyle Busch. Now what Stenhouse do? Can he block? Can he block? All of them coming at once. Five wide. Work it, dude. Work it. Last lap. Bang. That was that Bush into McMurray. Stenhouse gets away a little bit. Three wide. Here they come off turn four. This is the finish these fans came and stayed for. Ricky Stenhouse, the pride of Olive Branch, Mississippi. Top to bottom. Kyle Bush to the outside gets blocked by Stenhouse. Here they come. Stenhouse yes. wins it. <laughs> They're coming to the left at Talladega. Do they all make it back around? And who's the first one to the checkered flag? Wow, there's Tony Stewart. Shuffling Rusty Wallace out of the way. Jeff Gordon trying to block. Stewart trying to find some running room. Stewart up the center. So far, Side, it's Kevin Harvick in the black and silver car. Gordon's on the outside of the eight car. Gordon tried to jump in front of Harvick and get the push. Gordon to second. Michael Waltrip trying to figure out who to block. Here they come to the final corner and down to the start finish line. Waltrip's going out of line. Michael Waltrip will win the EA Sports 500 at Talladega. White flag is up, final lap of the second Daytona 500 qualifying race. The transfer spot looks to be okay, but they're still mixing it up hard. Tony Stewart right on Michael Waltrip's bumper. Let's see if he's able to make a move. So far, the transfer spot looks like it's going to be quiet. Todd Malign, Casey Atwood, Stacey Cochran, Rusty Wallace, all of those drivers are in. Stewart dropping back for a final run off turn four to the checkered flag. Michael Waltrip moves low to block. And he's going to win. Michael job, Waltrip wins the second Daytona 500 qualifying race. This is it. It's coming down to the final two miles at Michigan International Speedway. It's one lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. We saw a huge mistake off turn two for Harvick, or an issue that both drivers had. And Harvick has to remember that. He's got to make a little bit of a change so he doesn't have to come out of the throttle again on the exit of two. He made that change and never had to come out of the throttle. Great right point. Bragging rights for manufacturers right here in the manufacturer's backyard. The Heritage Trophy going to the winner. And right now, Kevin Harvick looking to sweep the weekend. Denny Hamlin's going to have some momentum on the high side. Will it be enough as they come out of four the final time? Kevin Harvick is going to sweep Michigan. He wins again. Wow, Denny almost go. got back to him. Mike, they're running 200 miles an hour. Look at that big wall right beside them. It is very tough to hold your line. The cars are wanting to push, especially, you see how high and how drifted on the way off? That's because the car is not handling properly. They've got all they want right now. White flag, boys, here we go. Here goes the five. The 33, Austin Dillon goes with him. That's Came one of the inside. Take. Boyer to the outside, and Kyle Busch comes down to the inside to cover. And now Matt Kenseth in the 20, he's going to be the real loser. Goes all the way back to almost the back of this pack. I don't think Kane is finished yet. Didn't see that coming. I'll tell you what, that five. It's the same thing at the same run, half back, 33 and 15. The 33 needs to get a little tighter on the five if they're going to make a charge. Casey Kane, will he have room on the bottom? Inside Kyle Busch. Here they come to the flag. Busch, Kane, Dillon. Boyer, single over. file, Kane to the bottom, runs out of real estate, and time. White flag is out, Kevin Harvick, the race leader. That 29 car is going to get wide here in a minute. Because he's got to stop this momentum of this 9 car. 
Look at the two car up there on the outside. Coming, coming, <laughs> coming. Look at Kurt Busch. He's been involved in wow. the last three cautions. No more Mr. Nice Guy. No more Kurt Mr. Nice Bush. Guy right here. Driver number two oh, will not here be we go. denied. There, there is Boyer around. Backing up a little bit. Got the bin behind you. Come on, come on. Keep coming. Keep coming. As of now, we don't have a caution. No caution. We'll see if they let him race back to the line, and it appears they will. And there's no caution because he's so far behind, and there's nobody back there. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kevin Harvick, the race leader off of turn number four. He's Casey coming. Kane and Jeff Gordon behind he's him. Coming. Will they make a move? They will not. Harvick wins at Daytona. She's going to go for a ride. Here we come. White flag. Bail out. One to go. Stewart's got the Stewart's got a great car, no question about that. It's just a matter of if uh, Kirk can get a little help. And now. Ryan jumped to the high side. Tony Stewart blocks him. Here comes Kyle Busch on the bottom. Uh oh, Toyota drag race down the back. Toyota drag race. He makes. Newman was trying to get help from the other blue Dodge. Now he's got it. Toyota on the inside lane. Dodge on the outside lane. Who's going to win it? It's going to come all the way to the wire. Here they go into turn three. Teammates working together. 2018, 212. 12 is going to win this race. I don't believe they can catch him back to the line. He's going to have to make it wide. Pedal, baby. He's going to have to make it wide. Pedal. It's the Boilermaker, Ryan Newman. Ryan Newman, Roger Penske wow. win the Daytona 500. Way to go, guys. Way to go. Like the chances of Dale Jarrett right now in that 44 car. White flag. One to go. Nobody close to Jarrett. He will race his way into the Daytona 500. Look at Harvick in the 29 helping Stewart on the outside. I think this race isn't over yet. Here comes the 24 on the outside. Chevy, Toyota, Dodge, Toyota. Here comes Stewart up to help the 11. There's John Andretti in the 34 car. Remember, fresh tires. He drives by David Rudeman in the double zero. John's trying to get into the Daytona 500. And he might just make it, Larry. He has come from nowhere. Look at that thing go. Right now he's in, but there's still one mile to go. I tell you what, if John Andretti gets in, this will be the feel-good story of qualifying for the 500. Teddy Hamlin wins it. Dale Jarrett is in. John Andretti is in. John Andretti almost beat Dale Jarrett. That shows you right there what four fresh tires will do for you. Coming to the white flag from Rodney Wise. White is in the air. Traffic is in front of them. Inside of Steve Grissom. I don't think lap traffic is going to play a part here. Hutt Strickland is just ahead of him, but he's running pretty good, and they head off into turn three. There's third and fourth. But now for the win. A couple of clean racers battling for the win. Ricky Rudd has picked it up. Ricky Rudd wins at Dover Downs, Delaware. Look at Andretti climb that wall. Uh, that might have been a mistake here. You see Ricky Rudd looking on the inside, trying to get under him. No, he got right back in. That's a very strong race car to be able to pull out a line like that, right back up on the draft car. White flag foul. Pay lap coming up. Rusty moves down out of the way. You let them find it out. Schrader fades up high. Schrader side by side now with the lead car of Ernie Irvin as they come down towards the back straightaway. And he knows his teammate will go with him. And Reddy takes a look to to stay behind Gordon. I thought he was yeah. going to come in. Here well, comes Ernie back. And, and Reddy was about to shoot up there to help Irvin. And Gordon didn't know which way to go. And a three. Up. Side by side. Ford on the inside. Chevy on the outside. Ernie Irvin leading by about six inches. Back comes Schrader. Here they come for the finish. They touch. They come to the line. Ernie. Ernie Irvin pulls it off. Is there enough fuel in either one of these two cars out front? Look at Byron being able to pull up to the 17. Going to get on the corner panel. That's going to pull the 17 <laughs> off the 21. It separates the white flag one more time around at Talladega. Eric Jones to the inside here. Jones is now going to push the 21. Now it's a matter of how long. Where the Wood it? Brothers and Matt Benedetto out front at Talladega. No organization right now. Look at this outside line. Oh, we got a car in the wall, the back straightaway. Cody Ware. 
Here comes a 17 and the 24. They're going to try to block. Eric. Eric in the wall. Gets up the wall. Now the 24, a big run. He slides. They make more contact. Three wide as they come out of four. Hamlin to the inside. Side draft coming from the 24 car. Denny Hamlin. William Byron through the triangle coming up to the stripe. And as they go across the stripe, a photo finish. Denny Hamlin gets the nod by 23 one thousandths of a second. No way. That might be his fault. Oh, my right, Vicky, come on, buddy. One lap to go. And they're side by side with the start finish line. Rudd with a car length advantage. Get up and go there. You got to get in front of him. You can't let him come back on the outside. Oh, no. Rudd just stuck it in too deep at the bottom of turn one. Lost the momentum. Gordon got the lead. Rudd's coming back. But that was that, that should have been Rudd's last lap move. All right, we're going to see what happened. One more set of quarters down in turn three and four. Man, he was there. That would have been for the win if it was on this lap. If he can get close enough, he might have a shot to try it again. Rudd tries that high side. Well, I, I think I think it, Gordon knows what he's going to do this time. He's going to try to make a run down the hill. Darrell off turn four. Let's see what happens. He gets the run. Here he comes. He's going to dive to the bottom. Gordon to block. And Gordon to win. He holds up. Ricky Rudd. Wow. Marlon Mayfield at the line. Ryan Newman edges the 90 of Hutt Strickland for Biff. But Hutt Strickland Six. Larson's car struggling just a little bit here. Here comes Bell. Bell moved. Bell wobbled just a little bit right there. Lost a little speed. Had a huge run. Bell right up against the wall. One lap to go. Presented by Credit One Bank. Larson with a three-tenth of a second lead. Bell. A final effort through one and two. Down the back stretch for the final time. Big gain right there by the 20 car. Through three and four for the final time. Now, lap traffic coming into play. Bell on the high side. Larson's going to drift up in front of him. Does Bell have enough? It's Larson. Bumper. Bell. Still bumper. High, Larson. High, high. High, Larson's going to win. Put your, put your flag. Hell, what yeah. a finish by Kyle Larson. Keep it coming. Still one inside. Drafting it tight. White flag in the two. air. One lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. Big push coming to the floor from his teammate, Clint Boyer. Got to have a place to go with it. Got to have a place to go with that run. Didn't quite have enough. He got to the rear bumper of the nine of Chase Elliott, but not quite enough. I think everybody's holding on for dear life right here. I think they're going to have one more good shot at Chase Elliott. They got to get there, and they just don't seem to be able to get right up there close enough at this point. I think Chase stays right where he is. Force them to go around you. Short way around. We're going to get a run. Block hard here. Chase Elliott spotter. All over him behind you, pushing him hard. Out of turn four. Elliott rules at Daytona. Chase Elliott covers the bottom and beats Kevin Harvick by a car length. Coming out of turn four, white flag this time. Man, this is good stuff right here. Man, it is. A mile and a half to go. Now watch Joe. Joe should be able to drive it way in deep here. If the car doesn't slide up the racetrack too much, he'll be able to hold it. And they'll run side by side down the back stretch. Joe Nemechek's story is well known. Lost his brother John in a Craftsman truck racing accident in Homestead when Joe was competing in Las Vegas. His family encouraged him to continue racing. Oh, here goes Rudd. He's got to run, but Nemechek will mirror block him now. Rudd is a veteran to the apron, but it's Nemechek with the win at Kansas. That was a good race. White flag, last lap. Wow, he's underneath them. He's right there. Oh, oh, oh. Jimmy said, come on, teammate. Cut me some slack. Through turns three and four now. Kyle Busch, the rookie, looking at Johnson, the championship contender. Teammates coming to the checkers. Jimmy Johnson wins at Dover. Here's the front four. This is where it's going to be decided for $45,000. See how Sterling falls back, uh, maybe a couple of three car lengths. Now he'll he'll try to pick all the momentum up he can coming off of turn two. They let Dale get out there just a little bit to get a little run at him. Marlin closing in again in the car number four. Very hard in front. Uh, let me see. No, nope, they're not going to make it. It's a done deal. You think it's a done deal? It's a done deal. Here comes Elliott. Waited too long. Waited too long. Got too far back. 
Had the right idea, just what it, he waited too long. He used to, many years ago, before the restrictor plate phase, you did it coming off a of turn four, and then it kept moving further back around the racetrack. Now yep. I guess you got to do it, what, at the start-finish line when you get the white flag? Down for the checkers, one more shot. Short. Earnhardt does it for the sixth time. Wins the Bush Clash. Blaney out front. Two miles to go. One lap to go. Presented by Credit One Bank. Larson is right there. He's going to push his teammate. They're going to have a great run on Blaney down here in the turn one and two. Blaney with a big lead. Big run for two. They could run three, four. They're backing up. But now they're going to be side by side, or the teammates going to get side by side and slow each other down. Yeah, we have had to block Here the run of Kurt Busch, and that hurt that, that hurt that move forward. Williams got some momentum. One last opportunity into three and four. Blaney has a lead. Byron goes high. Blaney stays down low. Blaney drifts up the track. Here comes the run from the 24. Ryan Blaney is going to hold him off. Byron dives to the bottom of the track. Blaney goes to block. Blaney's going to win in Michigan. Can he hold it? Four wide and into the wall. Down that the was Chase Elliott. Side by side, here comes Kurt Busch. He Way takes wide, the lead wide. away from his brother. But now, Kyle Busch fighting back. Contact made as they go into one. The Busch brothers, oh, side by retired. side. Tiny rub by Kurt Busch. Kyle Busch, Busch now, Busch fighting Busch on the Busch inside. Busch Once again, Kurt Busch making that outside line work. What does Jones do here if these two get together? Coming out of turn four. Kurt Busch with the advantage. Kyle Busch slides. Kurt Busch will win. What a finish. <laughs> that was real. That was awesome. This is the last lap right here, man. White flag in the air. Leader has it. Jeff Gordon doing everything he can to try and get to Denny Hamlin. Hamlin's last win 32 races ago won both Pocono events last season. This is going to be good in three. Yeah, ball one. You can do it. Gordon right on the bumper. Oh, Hamlin slipped just a little bit, but I don't think he's going to be enough. Well, Gordon looked to the inside, oh. couldn't get there. Hamlin gets loose. They charge to the line. Denny Hamlin wins. And the white flag is out. It's waving three wide. Jimmy Johnson, Jeff Gordon trying to hang on to the bottom. Drafting help from behind with Blaney in the Toyota. Up high, Tony Stewart gets help from Casey Kane. That's four wide down the back straightaway. Hamlin on the inside. Here comes here comes Gordon on the outside. Jeff Gordon has moved up in front of Tony, Tony Stewart. And to get the push by. Jeff Gordon, a five-time Talladega winner. He knows how to get it done. He hung at the back of the pack all day long. He pulls up, and Tony Stewart pushes him by. As they come down, Jeff Gordon trying to hang on. Two wide, three wide behind him. Gordon on the bottom of the racetrack. Jimmy Johnson second, and Jeff Gordon takes the win at Talladega. Unbelievable. The car tomorrow. Great race at the very end. Kurt Busch and Regan Smith, they've been the most potent of the drafting duos in this race, and they'll face the white flag this time. I think what people are learning right here, right now, is that uh, Regan Smith is a good guy to get hooked up with. 
And, Daryl, I don't think they have a choice but to stay like that till get, we get well off turn four. I don't think they can start mixing it up too early. No, Dinger I, through the middle. Almondinger coming with Menard. Threads the needle. Looking for third place. And look at Ryan Newman and Tony Stewart. But they have nowhere to go. They had a head of steam. Had to back off. Transfer spot. Elliott and Yaley ahead of Nemechek and Conway now. What will Regan Smith do in that 78 car uh -huh. coming to the trial? i tell you what he's going to do. He's going to push, push, push. Well, he's got enough room to look out and try to win it, but he's steaming along. It's going to be Kurt Busch. Whoa, he looked, he looked, but he couldn't do it. Oh! It'll be the white flag when they come back to the line. I believe if he's got anything for him, we'll see it off of turn four. Right, he can't get to him in turn two, Darrell. White flag, but no surrender. Oh, good one here, bud. It's the last lap. This is it. He's going to look under him there. Jimmy got a little bit off. He had to get out of the gas a little bit. They had to be ready for it. Here we go. He's going to move him. Comes. He's going to move boom, him. Boom, He's going to move boom. him. Here comes the Gordon. inside. He's got the inside. They touch once, twice. Drag race. Inside. Jimmy Johnson. Johnson. <laughs> Whoa. By a fender. Gentlemen, Jim. Now remember, white flag this time, one to go. He gets a run to the inside. I'm sure Kyle Busch will put the block on him. He better, he better be careful down here. Uh-oh. It's okay. Hamlin's slow. Uh -oh. No uh -oh. problem. Little touch. All I can say is We're Kyle Busch better be glad clear, that's clear, clear. Jeff Burton behind him. Yes, sir. He a lot of give and take there. Bump. He's going to do a little bump and run here. They're going to drag race to the finish line. Yes. Kyle Busch in the five. Through the trial will they go. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. Oh, he almost spun the 12. Herbs get to the back of Blaney. That cleared Harvick. Harvick is clear of the 12. Now he's got to have to block both lanes. The 12's going to have a little momentum here. I think Harvick can hop back in front of the 12. Big run coming. The 12 to the inside. Shuffles the four out. Now Blaney and Harvick. Down the back stretch for the final time and into turn three. Blaney with a push from the 24 of Byron. Here comes Harvick on the outside. Can the 36 get to the back bumper of the four and give him a big push? Momentum coming. They're side by side through the trioval. Blaney, Harvick, Blaney, Harvick. They spin behind him. It's going to be Blaney. Yes! There's Alex Bowman in that 23 car. He's trying to fight to get to the top 15, make his first Daytona 500 start. Come on, boys and girls. Let's keep it clean. Let's try to get these, let's get these things back in one piece. 18 cars in that lead draft, not counting those a lap down. And out of those 18, 15 about to earn a starting spot in the 500. Boy, it's, it's tight right back in there. That is tight. Look at the run, though, that Cole Witt and that 26 car got. That moves him into the top 15 along with Kligerman and Patrick. They have moved up. Nobody has had anything for Matt Kenseth. His Joe Gibbs Racing Toyota is going to try to hold off Kevin Harvick. Where did he come from? How about that 98 of Josh Wise up in the thick of things right here, boys? Harvick to the inside. Kenseth outside. Kenseth by a foot and a half in a three-wide finish. Looked like 1959 all over again. Three wide at the start-finish line. And here we go. One lap to go. Darrell, I think if he runs the bottom, it's going to be hard for him to get, get by him on the high side. Yeah, I don't see any way. I mean, they're going to lay off of him and try to get a run on him, but he's just too fast. One lap ago, they got that run. If Kurt Busch can get right to the right back bumper of Michael Waltrip, they may have a chance at Bernard Jr. How about that Kurt Busch? Whoa, how about, that's what Dale Jr. did. Uh, Dale Murray. Dale Jr. just said, how about that Kurt Busch? But you and Michael are single file. They got a tailmate. They tail. Oh, this is Dale Jr.'s in the catbird seat now. Those guys right, are stalling, behind they're stalling him, out no behind him. Bring it on home, buddy. All you got to do is worry about which way to go now for Michael. Michael doesn't want to let anybody get by him. Trying to get a run. Trying to get a run. They got it. First and second. Here comes Michael to the bottom, and he's going to run right out of time. Herbert Jr. wins at Talladega. Just as they enter the corner there, he just cannot stay down like they're not. White flag. He's oh boy. No matter who wins, 
I'm telling you, that's the drive of the year right there by Rick Master. We'll come back from such a wreck and they'll pull down on Dale Earnhardt like he's doing right now. Here. Now that's Earnhardt's play right there. He does that. Here comes Mast right to the bumper, slides it sideways, and Earnhardt holds him off to win the race. Tell you what, though, flag right here. coming to white the flag. white flag. No pressure out the back. Remember, it will happen if they're going to make the move on the back straightaway. Hamlin locked on to Newman. Kurt Busch with Jamie Mack. Through turn one for the final time. Here we go. He's in your tire tracks. When you go, he's pushing. Now it's go time. There we go. They're looking. They're looking. Can't make it. Can't Ryan make Newman. it happen. Newman, the runner up in 2005. Can't make it happen. Has about 2,000 feet to the finish line to win the Bud Shootout for the first time. Hamlin low, Bush up high. Here they come. Three wide to the stripe, and the winner is three wide, three probably wide, Kurt Bush because Denny Hamlin went below the yellow line. Yeah, that, that was definitely, he, he advanced his position by being out of bounds. There's no question on that one. All right, if they take the white flag under green, it's on. The next flag will end the race. There's the white flag, one to go. Well, these guys are running hard, trying to get a Here run. Here comes. Kevin Harvick pushing. Austin Dillon's there to second, but, well, I think that's going to stall things out and give this to Mark Church Jr. He's, those guys behind him are going to need a lot of help. Here it cut comes, some help too. from the 12. It's coming, but is it going to be enough and soon enough? Oh, watch Austin Dillon right here. Launch in game. Oh, oh, there he, he is. Comes. Whoa. Truex oh. tried to block Dillon, and he got three-wided. How about the run by Bubba? Bubba How about this push of Kevin Harvick? Another one. Yep, Austin another one Dillon are going to have to get up and block him. Going to have to get up. Here From it the comes. Inside, yep. There's the block. Dillon to the bottom. Here they come, racing oh. to the line. Oh. It is Dillon. <laughs> power move right there. Nice power, man. Coming out of turn four, it'll be white flag this time by for Tony Stewart. Regan Smith, the rookie Here's behind him. Menard is there. Sandler is there. Here comes Elliot Sandler. Yeah, he's not getting any help, though. He made a great move there, but nobody wanted to go with him. I can't believe that these guys at the DEI cars are going to be satisfied with second and third. They're going to have to go for it here. Now watch the 31 and the 07. Teammates for Childress, Burton, and Boyer. They're still they want to try. Single file. They're all trying, wanting to go, but it, everybody's just filling that spot, so they're not getting that opportunity. David Reagan hasn't won. Regan Smith, the rookie. Paul Menard is there. Tony Stewart has never won at Talladega in a NASCAR Sprint Cup car. He's going to have to do a lot of blocking right here. They've got to run on him. Got to run. Here they come. I can't go down there and do that, though. Actually, I think that. it's legal on the last lap. He might have got it right there. I think it's legal on the last lap. Here's the replay again. Watch a 0-1. And he got forced line. down there. I mean, Tony Stewart actually forced him down a little bit. Well, yeah, if you're going to consider that he only... Yeah. They are saying Tony Stewart has won the race. Tony Stewart is the official winner here at Talladega. They would not allow that pass below the yellow line. White flag coming out. Will it be Burton or Gordon at Richmond? One more lap to go. Gordon in behind... Jeff Burton. Gordon heads for the inside, coming off corner number two, down the back stretch. Jeff Gordon pulls alongside, but Burton inches ahead as they move three through the third and fourth corners. They're coming to the line for the win. It is Jeff Burton winning over Jeff Gordon. What a great race. Wow, wow. White flag is down to it. Sterling Marlin brings them down into turn number one. Perfect line. Earnhardt trying to get under Dale Jarrett, but Jarrett's right on the bottom of the racetrack. There was no room there for that. They got to run. Jarrett's going to try it on the outside. Marlin closes that gap. Nowhere to go. No power to pass. Stretch is covered into the third turn. Final time. Sterling Marlin leads them down. Jarrett with that Ford in second. Earnhardt Chevrolet right there. Sterling Marlin, who won the
the Daytona 500 the last two years, looking stout. Here they come for the tri-oval. Let's see if anybody's going to make a move. All right, down on the inside, but there was no place to go. He comes up on the outside of Jerry, but he won't make the pass. Sterling Mullen will win. Big push. Yeah, big, big push from Eric Jones. Got to him and actually hit him hard. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. Side by side for the lead. Where will the momentum come? They're door to door as they go through one and two. Down the back stretch for the final time. Chase Elliott now nosing ahead. Here comes Blaney fighting back on the inside, the shorter distance around the track. A big push from Michael McDowell in the 34. Elliott. With the help of Jones, he searches ahead. Jones moves to the inside. Elliott has the lead. Chase Elliott through the dog leg. Blaney with momentum. He's not going to get there. Elliott's going to win to Talladega. What a move for Chase Elliott. Let's go, man. That's where the streak has been with this 48 car. Kyle Busch poised to take advantage. It's a three-car race with a mile to go. Looking outside, you better block him if you want to hold him off. Got a good run. Kenseth pulls the block, going off into turn three. Johnson goes to the high side. He's he going to try to get that momentum. Can he drag race? race. Uh, last year like this. Race. Kenseth with He's the edge. Here comes Johnson. Jimmy's momentum got it. outside. He's got it. He's got Johnson, it. 48, yeah. wins the UAW Daimler Chrysler 400. He led one lap. All right, the white flag waves. We have one lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Call it, Jeff. Off at two, getting into three. I thought it might happen going into one, but now it's going to happen down the back straight. Well, let's see if they back it up. Look at Logano oh, backing yeah. it up. But Joey kind of backed up to them. Oh, here You're comes Kenny. Oh, he's getting oh. squeezed by his teammate. Boy, this, this is going to really jumbled up that line. These two Fords are in a good spot right here. And yeah. Ty Dillon picks up a couple of spots. That just took all the momentum away, but I think Joey's I still working it. One more chance right here. Joey Logano's won his last oh, two he goals. Here he goes. Bell goes with him on the bottom. Side draft coming from Eric Almarola. Try to yep. stall him. There it goes. Here comes his help with the 20 car. What's 20 20 going to do? Try to put him. And it's Almarola coming to the line. They are three abreast. It's Almarola over Christopher Bell right. and Ryan right. Newman. Sure enough. Nice job. Great job. Brad is going to need Chase Briscoe to lock on to him to push him by those two. Kozlowski had the run, but he's going to need Here the help. Comes. Here it comes. Big push from Kyle Busch and from Chase Briscoe. He's locked on there, too. He's going to have to stay there. Inside Here was comes there for another a second. push from Kyle Bush on an outside. Even here. Cindric can't get too far when out. Coming, coming to turn to three, where it all came undone last three, year on the final lap. Briscoe's out. He can't get to the Austin Cindric, whose grandfather won the run. Indy 500 as a car owner. Cindric is going to bring them to the line way up high to block Ryan Blaney. And at the line, Cindric beats Bubba oh, Wallace oh, oh. by half a car length, and they crash going into turn one. It'll be one to go. And Mike Skinner in the 23, there's not a whole lot he could do right there. White flag this time. They were four wide, and Dale Jarrett got squeezed out of that sandwich. Yeah, Dale said, you know, I'm on the pole, and guess what? Right. You boys just go right on up there. Ooh, somebody's getting forced high, but they held on to it. Last lap. Kerry Earnhardt in 33, Greg Biffin in 16. They've been working right against the wall through the corners, getting three or four cars a lap. Biffle. Half a lap to go. Biffle's been good all weekend. Comes Ryan Newman. Got the push. Now, who's back there against Kerry? Kenny Wallace in the double zero. Battling Kerry Earnhardt, 33 and double zero for the final transfer spot. See Jamie McMurray in the 42 car. Remember, it wasn't that long ago. He was down a lap. Down to the line in the first of the Gatorade duel. Junior below the line, Mike Waltrip. Mike, he got it. Michael Waltrip wins it in the final 500 feet. Now, Andretti's going to stop and wait.
away from her not to catch it. <laughs> Good move by John Andretti. All kinds of things being played out here as Andretti is bringing him down very, very slowly. It's up to him to set the pace. He's going to begin to accelerate whenever he wants to. And now he picks up the clock. is out. One to go. Jimmy Spencer bears down. Bill Elliott comes after him. Here comes Schrader looking high. I don't think he has time enough now. It's between the Junior Johnson cars, Ned. Yeah, Ernie Irvin went a little high there. Lost some distance between the two front runners. Now he's going to have to fend off Ken Schrader. Here comes Elliott trying to move down on the inside. Now he goes to the outside as Spencer blocks him off there. Goes high and blocks him off up there. <laughs> What they need is a third dancing partner. Elliot needs a little help to be able to get by, but he doesn't have any help. Elliot, everybody's pretty much take, on their own. We'll take one more shot for sure and just try over. Here he comes, up to the outside. Guns it for the inside. Here we come for the finish. Coming to the strike. It's Spencer. It's up to the five of Kyle Busch. How long can he wait if he's going to go? White flag, one lap to go. Here they go. They got to, go. They got to get Mark. Moore. They got to move him somehow. Gets back to that yellow line right around the bottom, all the way through turn one and two. Mark Martin is driving the race of his life. And there's nobody that's better 
and holding people off at Daytona. And Eric Bush lagged back a little bit. Is he going to get help? Is he going to come? He's looking. Almost. He almost squeezed Harvick into the wall. And here comes Harvick, the 29, with Matt Kenson. Oh, Mark got loose. Mark got loose. Harvick's getting the run off turn four. It's going to be a drag race all the way back to the start finish line. No caution. They're side by side. Right to the line. That car owner talking right there, Tony. So but that's you. Here it is. Christopher Bell, just like I told you, he's wanting it. He's looking. All right, white flag this time. White flag waves. Oh, well, right to go. Right on box. Now we got a race. Big block by Harvick. Missed it. I still think you talk about energy. It's on that outside line. Blaney could be in trouble. It's definitely lined up that way for sure. Busher's going to move down and help him. Joey Logano is going to have to widen his car and block both lanes. Here Bell looking Bell. low. Great move by Bell. Another block by Blaney, or excuse me, Logano. Logano right in the middle of the racetrack trying to cover all the spots. Great move by Christopher One Bell. Ahead, he is clear. Half ahead. Oh, he went Blaney for it. Point. Here's no help. Bell. He's going to need help on that outside. The energy's on the bottom. Blaney's not Blaney's leaving that teammate, though. Nope. He's going to get a little help from Busher. Here they come to there the flag is. for duel number one. Logano didn't make that big block. Learn from that lesson, but the energy we were talking about won that race. Got the energy when it needed it off of turn four. Won the race. White flag down to the final lap. Can anybody run up and catch Burton and Boyer? They've got some ground to make up if they're going to do it. Sure, the ground in this pack. Eight of the last 12 races here have been decided on the last lap. Dave Blaney first to break from the traffic with Brad Kislowski. Here come Brian Vickers and Casey Kane. Whole lot of cars behind them. But Jeff Burton is a half a lap for victory. This far clear of the pack. Does Boyer pull out and try and win? There's a chance that Boyer might try to pull out and win when they get to the trial. Here, here. he goes. Here he goes. Does the pack have a chance to run him down? Side by side in contact. The pack is not going to catch him. They Martin's still got a chance. Clint Boyer gets the win. I don't know who won that. Good job, Clint. Half and a half to go. Stewart still in 15th. Joel Edmonds, the spotter for the 16 car. Mark goes to the bottom, picking up the throttle. Got a pretty good run. He's there, right beside him. Last lap of the season. Teammates Mark Martin and Greg Biffle fighting for the lead while Tony Stewart tries to hang on to his position to clinch the championship. Oh, this is going to be good off of two. This has been Biffle's sweet spot off the second corner. Mark's there. He's there. And I think Mark's been better in four. Looks that way. See if he can hold on. Boy, Biffle drove in deep. Will it stick? Oh, he's sliding up the track. Out of four, they come to the line. Yeah, he does. That's <laughs> what he did to block that 24. That's what he knows. <laughs> well, we got a little oh, loose. Look at this big Yikes. run. I think he's going to clear him the way he got his quarter panel. He'll probably have Whoa. him cleared. Close. No, he doesn't. Look Larson at oh, tried oh, to he got him down. He, he sucked him around. <laughs> he sucked him Two around. Two to go. Larson pinned Woo. him down to the bottom of the racetrack and Chase Aldrich went around. Look who's coming. The 21 of Blaney is coming into the picture. He got down that door and just pulled him around, man. This could get big. <laughs> yes, sir. It's going to be huge. Big Bush run is, Can he get Elliot. beside him and can he make clear it? Don't go to the inside. Go to the outside. There it is. He's going to get him right here. I think he's it got is. Him. It's going to be a drag race to the line. Oh, he's got him. I think he might have him. He's got the momentum. Don't wreck. Don't wreck. They touch. They touch. They're sliding. They're bringing. Oh, Larson wow. got him. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding he me? got him. <laughs> White flag under green. Next flag will end the race, and Newman is there. Newman's got locked onto his rear bumper just like he did. Oh, wrecking behind Chase Elliott around. Spinning around. No still green. green. Still green. Still green, and here they come. And here comes Blaney. 
Ryan Blaney up behind Ryan Newman trying to get him to Hamlin. Newman backed up to Blaney. Big run coming here. To no the inside. Newman to the front. Nothing Denny Hamlin could do. What can Ryan Blaney now do? Here comes a push from Denny Hamlin. Oh, this thing's not over yet. Not at all. Ryan Newman off turn four for the final time. Blaney to the outside, oh. to the inside. Here comes Hamlin up the outside. Wow. Crash into the wall, into the air, oh. goes Newman. Scoring unofficial between Hamlin and Blaney as far as who crossed the finish line first. I think like you said, that 14 and that two, if they could hop, pop, possibly get hooked up here, and here comes Matt Kenseth. Help is on the way, Smoke, if you just uh, hang on to her. And all Casey Kane and that nine can do is just try to treat working back and forth between him. I think the low place is where he needs to be as long as they don't get the run on the high side. Looking back from the leader, Casey Kane. Here comes this, here comes 14 on the outside. And Got he's going to get a shot from Montoya. Watch him through three and four on the high that, side here. That's all it took right there, just that extra little boost. That two Chevy's hooked up. Here we come. Slingshotted. Tony Stewart right alongside Casey Kane. Looks like the uh, looks like the first race. The man on the inside won the first one. Let's see what happens here. All right, who's going to make the Daytona 500? I believe Stewart. Now Kane's fighting back. It's Kane, Kane I believe. Got it. Kane, Casey Kane. White flag. One lap to go, and Bush pushes Stewart to the lead. Ambrose tucks in in third. That 18 car has got to be a mess. Now, what do you do? But that man wheeling it, he don't care. And this is where you see your two-car tandem right here. Remember, he'll try to beat you when he gets over here. <laughs> you know who that was? <laughs> Steve Addington. <laughs> who used to be Kyle's crew chief and is now Tony's crew chief. <laughs> he will try to beat you. <laughs> One mile to the finish line of the Budweiser shootout. Tony Stewart or Kyle Busch, who's going to win it? I don't know if Kyle's got it. Remember what happened the last time these two were coming to a start-finish line back in the July race? Smoke versus Wild Thing to the line. He got it. White flag this time. Can Montoya and Hamlin do the two by two tango or will Harvick shove McMurray to victory lane? White flag in the wind, one lap to go. ECR engines at the front of the field working together and looking good. The big question, both those guys, they have to be on fumes as far as fuel, the one and the 29. I don't like that. There's a little bit nervous Good getting a big lead out here. You got to be careful. But with these guys two by two behind them, it might work. Staying to the inside, the two leaders have no drafting help, but they are scooting away from the pack. Three corners to go. Now Harvick, he'll keep pushing him, and he'll get over here to the travel, try to make the slingshot on. As soon as he knows that he doesn't have to worry about that third place car of Montoya, he probably will try to make the move, although I don't know if it'll do him any good or not. Last chance through the trial. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here, he comes. Here, he comes. here they come. Oh, he got Harvey. him. It's Harvey. He got him. He timed him perfect. He got him. Mr. will be official at the caution or the checker. And this is where I've seen Kevin Harvick be so good. You see that launch that he got through the right two. Carl Edwards is going to give him a yeah, reverse bump. It's two what, tires. It's, it's going to be hard for him to hold Carl Edwards off. Austin Dillon dropping way back. Won't be a factor. If Harvick, Harvick can hold him off, I tell you, he's Superman. That's all I can say. Well, he held him off right there through one and two, but can he do it three and four? Three wide turn two. Everybody gets through. Next flag ends the race. There's he's never been a last lap pass in Phoenix. Here, he Here comes. comes Carl. He's under him. Oh, he's Carl under him. He's going to move him up the race track. He's got him up the hill. Here he comes. Wow, look at him slam. That's going to be. Oh. Too wow. close to call. I can't call that one. Did you see them hitting one another? I think Harvey got it by a fraction of an inch. I think one hundredth of a second. You watch. If they're going to make a move, it's going to happen just after this white flag. I think it'll happen off turn four. Here goes Hamlin up high. Here comes 
the 20 of Matt Kenseth. Can't do it. No, he just doesn't have enough of a push. He's going to have to back up to that car behind him and get that push, but he he's wants trying. That, he wants that four car to help him. Here he goes. Next flag ends the race. I just don't think he can do it he from the outside. He might be able to get up to third, maybe second. I just don't know if he's going to get all the way up to the lead, but here he comes. Got to run down the back. It's going to be a drag race off turn four, but I just don't see him being able to pull it off. He's getting, no no he's, no he's getting a big push. He's getting a big push. He's coming. He's coming. He's up to second. Hamlin a second. Up Watch high. the inside. Watch the inside. Martin Truex. Truex. Jr. Three wide. Truex to the bottom. Oh, right. Right. No. Right. No. Don't no, no, Kenza saves it. Here they come to the line. This is the finish of the Daytona 500. Come on. Side by side. Bouncing off each other. Unbelievable. I think it was Denny Hamlin. I have it. It's Hamlin. What a finish. Hamlin. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Look, Ben Murray looks like he's going to go to the bottom this time. This is where he's That's been so good. Yeah, where he should have been. I, I would have gone to the bottom sooner if I'd have been him. He just, just like yesterday. Just the pass. White flag this time. One to go, boys. All right. Somebody's got to go different. Can't all go the same way. Kenseth went low in one. Here Changes comes. lanes. Here comes Kane on the outside. Just can't quite mad it right there off of turn two. But Murray almost hit the wall exiting two and drops back. Yeah, he lost a lot of ground right there last time through three and four, though. Here they Kane go. goes to the bottom. Kane comes to the bottom. It's he gets a run. Through. He's got a good run on him. Side by side of the line. Kenseth. Kenseth. Told you it'd be a Fomoko finish. They're coming down for the white flag. One more lap to go. Labani has the good run here in the quad oval. He took a look to the inside. Couldn't make the move. He'll head for the top side of the racetrack in turns one and two, but Dale Earnhardt maintains the lead down the backstretch for the final time. Labonte right on the rear spoiler. And Earnhardt goes in high. That's going to leave some room for Labonte on the bottom. Here comes Bobby Labonte making a charge. They come toward the line. Who will it be? It is going to be. I don't know. I don't either. It will look like Earnhardt just by a little bit. He has one lap to see if he can get the job done. The white comes out. Ernie Irvin leads the last lap. Let's see if Jimmy Spencer can get the job done here on the final circuit of this event. He heads up high on the racetrack once again with a lot of momentum build up. Yep, he's making Ernie protect that low side of the racetrack. He's going to have some momentum when he comes off this turn, Bob. He's going to have enough to move up beside him, I believe. And he makes a move to the inside at the halfway point down the back stretch, and he gets the lead, or at least he gets an advantage on Earnhardt. They touch coming down the back stretch. That's Ernie. Earnhardt side by side. Here they come for the checkered flag. Who's going to be? Will it be Ernie Irvin on top or Jimmy Spencer on the low side? Off of corner number four. Here they come. It's going to be a drag race to the checkered flag. Jimmy Spencer wins it. Wow, baby. How about that? Can we get the one to go? White flag. There it is. Stenhouse leading the second lane, going nowhere. It is Harvick and Chris Busher. What? Watch this run that Ty Dillon might be able to give to Ryan Blaney to give him a big run. Nope. Ty goes underneath. Blaney pokes out. Stenhouse is with him. Harvick got away from oh, Busher. Reckon. But up front, they're racing for the win. Blaney's the crash ahead. is in the back, and Blaney is the leader. Stenhouse. Comes back to him on the bottom. Off turn four, three wide. Not over yet. Here comes Eric Jones. Nemechek trying to push Jones. Eric Jones with help. Here comes Almirola. Crash into the wall. I think it's Stenhouse. It might be Blaney. Coming back on one to go. Brought to you by Credit One. Been a lot of questions about what position do you want to be in? Do you want to be leading or in second? I think you have to be leading. There's always a wreck with one to go and then the race is over. So I think Blaney's got to be in this position. Chase Elliott jumped out of line. That was his, likely his only opportunity is he's going to get almost three wide there with the 13. Still tries to get front. help. He yep. tries to get that help from Ty Dillon. Now, everyone fighting for every position. Down the backstretch for the final time. Ryan Ryan Newman. Newman, huge push from Hamlin. Here comes Newman. Oh, Newman 
Oh, he saved it! He saved it! He saved it! That's gonna give that 12 car a chance to get another Roman Newman way out front. They're gonna have a big run coming up on this six car down the front straightaway. Huge block coming right here. Blaney as they go around the 37, almost upside down. So is the 96, Parker Kligerman. Here they come, they make contact. They're side by side, it's a photo finish at the line. The Childress team trying to go to victory lane for the second year in a row in this race. We had a photo finish here last race. We're getting ready for another one, folks. Get up off your seats. Here Gordon they go. Gordon for two in a row, trying to set them up. Gordon's going to make the big move on the inside when they get down here to turn three. Oz, slow car might be in the way. Here he comes. He's going to drive it to the bottom. Oh, Harvick's leaving a lot of bottom open. Oh, this slow car, slow car, slow car is going to be in the way. Just That's like a year ago, he's going to get him, though. Here he's going to get him. Gordon got loose. It's Harvick. Harvick by goes. inches. Harvick by inches. Harvick by inches. White flag. And I have Burton. <laughs> I guarantee you, wild thing in that 18 car, he's not going to be content to run fourth in this race. This will not be the way they finish. Two Chevys, two Toyotas, two Dodges, two Toyotas, a Chevy and a Toyota. But on point, Jeff Burton trying for his first Daytona Speed Week's checkered flag. Clint Boyer locked on to him. I know Michael and, and, and Kyle would like to pull out, but they're afraid to. Too wide behind them with Brian Keselowski in fifth. They're going to take a look here, Michael and, and Kyle. Here they come. They got to run, but they're going to crash. Oh, no. Trevor Bain is in it along with David Reagan. Yeah. Whoa. And Burton will win it Older over break. Boyer. Now, guys, we're going to be seeing a white flag this time. One to go. Uh-oh, Mark Martin just. Mark's in trouble. Something Mark's happened got to Mark. problems. White yeah. flag. That's all, that's all he needed to see, Larry. He's on the pole for the 500. Get out of town. I think you're right. I think he felt like it might get a little crazy yep. here on this lap, last lap, and uh, Mark's usually pretty right. This is going to be a crowded house. Here comes Harvick, right up the back bumper of Jimmy Johnson. And there goes Kyle Busch in the 18 car, jump to the high side. He gets blocked. He goes back to the bottom. Jimmy Johnson doing what a whale of a job he's doing on those tires. Stayed out. I think Boyer pushed Harvick right by him on the outside through three and four. Teammates, two Chevys helping each other. Hey, have you ever seen this movie before? <laughs> uh, Here couple, comes Harvick. Ago. Don't count Jimmy Johnson Jimmy out. Jimmy Johnson's Jeez. fighting back. It's going to be a drag. Not over yet. Check Who's it right in the air. Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson. Johnson got it. I mean, by inch. Six one thousandths of a second. That's what I said, an inch. Look at that. I'm, that five car is strong, man. My, he, not only is he strong, I'm telling you, he is trying to really help that thing, too. He's, he's going to be in the gas all the way. I don't care how sideways this thing gets. Last lap. Right and he needs to help. And he needs because if they wreck right now, he's got to be the first guy across that loop. Kyle Busch now has his brother, Kurt, behind him. The one thing is Kyle Busch has the inside, and because of where the start-finish line here is, at, at this place, the inside line is the line if you can maintain it coming out of turn four. Will Edwards, oh, man, I'll tell you what. Will Edwards help his teammate, or will he Keep make a move now. for the Keep win? Your brother will come uh, I, don't, I don't know if he'll be able to make the move for the win. Kyle Busch is the guy right here. He's yep, the winner. Yeah, he's going to have the momentum, and he's going to get to the line. Coming to the checkers. Oh, oh wow. Oh, that was close. I don't know. Wait for scoring. I think the 26 got him. It says 26 on the monitor. Oh, wow. Great. Here comes Jared down on the inside. White flag coming out this lap. There's Kyle Petty up there. He's the strongest guy in that bunch. He's trying to get a chance to run on Rudolph. And there he goes to the inside. Final lap. Kyle dropped to the bottom. Urban goes up on top. Kyle pushes it hard. I guarantee Urban's going to go three wide to the bottom with Jared. There's that bottom lane open for him. All right. This is the run for the money. Last lap. Urban there on the inside. Earnhardt on the outside. Kyle works him over. Who's going to help this? Is it, which one does Kyle Petty get behind? Whoever he gets behind has got a shot to win this race. And here comes a six. He's going to enter into it. Mark Martin with a good, solid run. He might be able to dip under both of them. All three of them come up at down. Five seconds to pay dirt. Here they come. Urban on the inside. The shortcut on the inside is going to be of some help. As 
they come to the line, dead even. I don't know, I think it's like the three. I think Earnhardt won the race. It was awfully close. Or is this Tom Duggan that we do this every time we race up here? <laughs> Isn't that something? Unbelievable to run the kind of race that's been here today and finish it with a few inches. This will be the white flag. One lap to go. 14 transfer spots available. 18 cars in the draft. Right now, Mike Skinner's using the throttle pedal, the steering wheel, but most importantly, the rear view mirror. I can't even talk about it. Four wide. Five wide. And they made it. Dave, they made it. Dave I, Blaney almost took out half the field coming from the apron up onto the racetrack there. If they told me they could have made that turn out, I said, there ain't no way. They were five wide. And two of them were on the apron. Skinner blocking Junior. Oh, gee. Uh oh, boys. He's going to run out of racetrack. Got to give him some room, Mike. Earnhardt Jr. muscled his way to the front. They're lining up for a run behind him. Here comes Jeff Burt. This is it. They all make it back without wrecking him. Surprise me, boys. Two by two. Earnhardt on the bottom. Skinner up top to squeeze him down. Photo finish. Photo finish. I will not try to call that. We was looking right down on him. The bell lap of the man who started up front leads it. Jeff Gordon. But here comes the next two pair. The, these two cats right here, they may have timed it out too. Let's see what happens down the back. Now they will get a draft off Mark Martin. And here's the slingshot to the outside. Stay together. That's what they're saying. Stay together. Push, push, push. We get tight down here in turn three. Don't forget Jimmy Johnson and Dale Jr., fifth and sixth. They are there. Which group will they go with? And will it help the Jonas cars? Or will it help Jeff Gordon to victory lane? All bets are off. They get to the middle of the trial. Watch out down low. Way Good down run. comes Johnson. Good run. He's got room. They're three wide. Three by three on the line. Johnson. Maybe Jimmy Johnson. I believe he got him by an inch. Two one thousandths of a second he beat Boyd. Okay, a sixteenth of an inch. He's going to wait on this. He's going to put the crossover on it. He realized that wasn't a good move that last time. White flag. Here he goes. He's going to try to slide under him here. Come on, baby. And Blaney's coming. Both these cars are driving terrible right now. Nah. Not allowed to go. Nah, they're driving good. Come on, baby. You can do it on this end of the speedway. Come off the four and get up alongside of him. Half a mile Here he go. comes. Here he comes. Who's going to get off? Here he comes. Here he comes. He's got him this time. It's going to be a drag race. Wow. They touch. They touch. Craven oh, got him. Craven got him. Craven got him. And Craven. All right. What a finish. Have you ever? No, I've never. Wow. <laughs> what a finish.